whole curriculum in the arts are three times more likely to graduate from high school. I thought that was a mic drop. Hi, this is Alyssa Milano, and you're watching Inside Look TV. Hi, Inside Look TV. It's Sarah Wayne Callies. It's good to see you. Hello, fans of Inside Look TV. Hey, it's Wendy McClendon Covey, and you're watching Inside Look TV. Tell us a little bit more about the Creative Coalition for the people that don't know about it. The Creative Coalition is the nonprofit public advocacy arm of the entertainment industry. We were started 30 years ago by Alec Baldwin, Susan Sarandon, Ron Silver, and Chris Reeve, specifically to use the power of entertainment behind issues of social importance and particularly protecting the arts. And today is an important day as the, the, the right to bear arts and we also had a lot of celebrities going to Congress. What, what are you guys looking for the, the outcome to be from all of this that's going on? We want to make sure that the National Endowment for the Arts is not eliminated in the upcoming budget. And I think we have a good chance. I think we did a lot of good work today. I think there are a few reasons to support the arts. One is ideological. I mean, the United States Constitution, we, we exist for life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And the pursuit of happiness includes the pursuit of art, and a great nation deserves great arts. But I think beyond that, there are economic reasons to support the arts. You know, for every dollar that the American public puts into the arts, programs, they get seven dollars back in revenue from the economy that's built around the arts. And I think that's an incredibly important thing. I think also for a lot of mothers that I've spoken to in underprivileged communities, especially a lot of single moms who have to work really hard, that time of day from three to six when their kids get out of school, before mom comes home to, to make dinner, um, those are dangerous times for a lot of those young men and women. And if what they're involved in is an art program that gives them self-confidence and some positive to do, those kids become leaders and they become successful Americans and that's their right. Do you think Hollywood should support the arts more than what they do right now? Hollywood does support the arts. Every one of us here gives and gives a lot to the arts and if you look at every dollar that the NEA puts towards the arts, nine dollars come from private sources. The NEA is really seed money and then what happens is that gives a stamp of approval onto something and then that brings all kinds of donations from across the country and sometimes even across the world. I put my money where my mouth is. I support this cause. One more question. Who has inspired you to be who you are today? I think more than anyone else, my grandmother. My grandmother was a powerhouse of a woman you did not mess with. She had values and nobody could change her devotion to those values no matter what. She was strong, she was frugal, she was kind, she was honest. I just want to be like her. So why do you think it is important to support the arts? Well, I think the, I think the arts are, are, are vital for developing our brains and developing critical thinking. And um, that's why you're seeing a move from just STEM to STEAM, where they're adding the arts. And the, all of the testing and all of the studies have shown that math scores and SAT scores and all, all of these technical and science abilities are amplified by adding arts to the curriculum. I mean, arts are the great um, unifier. I mean, that's how we really find our commonality is through stories, through emotion. So I think arts bring people together. Um, and I also want to point out that the NEA is not about funding arts for Hollywood. It's not about funding the arts for New York City or Washington, D.C. But it's about small towns across the country. There could be a small theater perhaps in D.C. or L.A. But it's really about the unsung heroes and about giving access to the arts for everyone. Not just, I mean, I, Hollywood's going to be fine without the NEA. I'm concerned about what it's going to mean to middle America if the arts are cut. And they do so much good. I was just at Walter Reed today visiting some of our wounded warriors who have grown so much through art therapy and have been able to talk about some of the traumas they've experienced only through the art and the experience of painting their experience or writing their story down. So arts can be very therapeutic. Um, I imagine the national anthem uh, or, you know, imagine a funeral, as Tim often says, without taps. Imagine a baseball game without the national anthem or the seventh inning stretch. Imagine Paris without the Eiffel Tower or New York City without Lady Liberty. Um, arts are, are, you know, and, and by the way, 
Just because I'm an actor doesn't mean I have a market on arts. Everybody has an artist in them. Wow, that was like a whole new perspective on art for me. Um, so who has also inspired you to be who you are today? I'm sorry, say that again? Who, who inspired you to become the person you are today? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm in, I think I'm inspired by everyday heroes. I'm inspired by uh, fathers who um, are present with their children. I'm inspired by the single mom who's raising her kids the best you can. I'm really, I used to be inspired by rock stars and athletes, and, but I'm really now inspired by just everyday people that are out there without fanfare, without a pat on the back, teachers, uh, people who are doing good. And I, I'm, I'm coming away from this trip feeling very, very inspired about the people that are out here, especially in Capitol Hill that really want the best for the country and, and aren't divided. So I, you know, if you watch just the, some of the news and follow your Twitter, you get a sense that we're this divided nation. That's not what I'm seeing now, and I'm feeling really hopeful. Well, you took a lot back from this trip, so um, thank you so much for this interview, and good luck with your future. Thank you so much. Can you tell us why you think it's important to support the arts, and do you think that Hollywood should step up and play a bigger role in supporting the arts? No, I think Hollywood does a really great job where they are. I think the government needs to step up and realize that the arts are not just about Hollywood films. It's about um, the local theater in the community. It's about, I went to Walter Reed today and, and saw an amazing program that the National Endowment of the Arts is funding um, to heal wounded warriors through the arts. Um, there's all these programs that the NEA actually uh, is a part of that people have no idea. They just hear arts and they think it's all like, you know, people with guitars and singing around a bonfire and it's so much more than that. And you are such a big inspiration to girls all over the world. Who is your biggest inspiration to become the person you are today? Oh, that's so nice. Thank you. Um, my mom is my inspiration. My daughter is my inspiration. Um, and I do love Audrey Hepburn. <laughs> love her too. what it does well our primary mission is to protect defend and promote the arts in the United States we particularly focus on helping the National Endowment for the Arts and Arts Education uh, we also uh, use the power of the unique platform that we have been given because we are successful in the entertainment world to focus attention on issues of public importance and let uh, experts talk to people about the, the importance of focusing on those issues. And today is a very special day. You guys went to Congress. We were also celebrating tonight. Why do you think that the Congress can do, and not only Congress, but Hollywood can do to keep supporting the arts? Well, I think that uh, Congress can first of all, you know, uh, approve a budget that protects the National Endowment for the Arts, which has been uh, on the chopping block by the current administration. Um, so, th you know, that's the first thing, that they can, they can vote to keep that uh, money in the budget and to keep that program alive because it's one of the only programs I know of that uh, gives grants to every congressional district in the United States. So, contrary to what some people believe, there's sort of a perception problem. People think that it's about Hollywood and about Hollywood supporting itself. That couldn't be farther from the truth. 
it is much more beneficial to small towns and cities all across the United States who otherwise would have no arts at all. Hollywood will be fine, you know, New York, D.C., they'll all be fine without the NEA, but the rest of the country would be devastated. Well, it's about inspirations. So, we also want to know who inspired you to be who you are today. Why do you Oh, gosh. Uh, there were so many people. Um, uh, you know, I, I'm, still, I'm still searching for inspiration. Um, and, you know, I... I you know, I, I get inspiration from people who are not artists or actors also. Martin Luther King was a hero of mine and uh, um, you know I, I admire uh, people like Jesus who I'm not even I'm not even a good Christian but I think he was an incredible man uh, and um, you know there have been a lot of people who have you know spent their lives doing a lot of good things for others and I, 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 I you know, take a small bit of, of uh, inspiration from them and hope that I could live up to you know a tiny percent of what they do. I think Hollywood's been supporting the arts but I think it's more important to understand the impact that the arts have on places unknown okay Hollywood yeah we're a bunch of actors we can say you're looking at us Look where we're pointing. We're pointing at this situation over here. The arts save lives. The arts generate revenues in every congressional district. So we have world-class arts here in America, whether it's musical theater, whether it's um, you know publishing, writing, architecture, coding. I would, I would argue that coding is an art form, OK? We need to have a, a minister of the arts, like they do in other first world countries who are proud of their civilization, you know? Come on now. It's a no-brainer. So we're not here advocating for more actors necessarily, all right? We're obnoxious. There's enough of us. But we are advocating for after-school programs, for programs that reach out to rural communities, inner city communities. Um, the, the program we have at Walter Reed that the NEA supports with art therapy, who can argue with that? So it's seed money. It's, you know, I know people have a big bugaboo about, you know, why should our federal money fund the arts? Well, it isn't. It's, it's giving seed money, and that seed money yields results. So, that's my sermon for the day. I like that sermon, actually. Preach. <laughs> um, and who was your biggest inspiration to become the person you are today? It's a long list. But I have to say, I, I really owe a lot to my, um, my drama teacher in junior high school who kept me engaged in school and my performing arts teachers because it was their kindness to me that made me feel like I'm not such a big nerd, you know. I am good at something and I, I, can, I can have a voice and maybe I get picked on in all my other classes, but in this class, I'm somebody, you know. So, and screw all those people that picked on me, whatever. I think that it is the most important thing to support the arts, especially today. I mean, people are more depressed and anxious than they've ever we've ever seen in history, and the arts is really the way to save people. Um, yeah, I think we all need to do more every day, indulging ourselves. And Tim was saying something that I think is so poignant about how we're so afraid to talk about ourselves as artists. Everyone will say that they're a golfer or a whatever at any amateur level, but there's something sort of more touchy about being an artist. And, and if we can just acknowledge the fact that we sing in our church choir or doodle or draw every once in a while and embrace the fact that we need art because we all do we express it in every facet of our life in the way we dress like and a lot we talk a lot of a lot about that on our show madam secretary my character does specifically about how fashion is a form of expression and a form of art um, and it's it, it, it could not be more essential to life can you tell us a little bit more about your character on Madam Secretary? Yeah, um, actually, my character just got into college. Um, yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, no, she's sort of 
Um, maturing and growing and figuring out who she is and um, we've hit a lot of really important issues the last few episodes. Um, we've talked about sort of like slut shaming and sexual assault kind of and um, things that parent and I, it, it's perfect sort of for our demographic because we have a lot of older people and a lot of younger people and so it's pulling parents into a conversation it's pulling kids into the same conversation about how can we get all on the same page about what's right and what's wrong um, so it's been an awesome journey to see her evolution she's really coming into herself <laughs> she's very light about most things but she does things very passionately and that's sort of inspiring to sort of just see something and for what it is and and just go for it wholeheartedly Okay, so yes. I'm, I'm photobombing. Yeah, I'm like, let's do it. I'm, I like the photobomb. I like bombing. It. What is it called? Video bomb. That's a thing, I think. I don't know. I'm live streaming. I video bomb all time. <laughs> you got yeah. it. Of course. Oh my god. Oh. I'll do it for you. No, no, no. <laughs> Turn off the cameras. I'll do it for you. Oh. <laughs> Perfect. Excellent. Great. You look great. You look beautiful. <laughs> Hi, how are you? So why do you think it is important to support the arts and do you think that Hollywood has been doing enough to support the arts? Say what was the last part? Do you think that Hollywood is doing enough to support the arts? Here's the funny thing. I'm not Hollywood. I live in Brooklyn, New York. I'm boogie down Brooklyn. Um, I, I, I've been in Brooklyn 25 years in New York, you know. I'm a theater guy. Um, I'm also a writer, a playwright, I'm a screenwriter, I'm a amateur artist, I make little boxes. Well, I, and I do some of it badly, but the point is, is that everybody is allowed to do this. This is not, you know, the, it's not the purview of the Hollywood elite. Everybody gets to create, everybody gets to express themselves. And what the NEA does is it gives access to that kind of expression to people in small communities, rural communities, places in the south, in the west, in the southwest. Every congressional district in this country has access to the NEA to fund their passion project, their dream project, to open a museum, to do a project about your heritage in Oklahoma, how you got there, how your family got there, what's the history of the Trail of Tears. I mean, it, we, we need the NEA to help support things that wouldn't get funded otherwise. And that's, that's to me why it's so important. And I think the NEA should be funded more, much more, and not less. And the idea that you would try to balance the budget on the back of, of people's need to express in culture, you might as well cut air. You might as well cut water. Why not? Is that next? You know? It's crazy.